Welcome Aquarius to the channel. My name is Robin and this is Aries Fire Tarot. Thanks so much for joining me today, you guys. I really appreciate it. So it is time for July finance readings. I'm shuffling the Gilded Tarot deck and I have the Starman Tarot and Tattoo Tarot just to the left here, just in case we need to pull some clarifying cards. I'm leaning towards the Tattoo Tarot Ink and Intuition deck, but we'll see how I'm guided when we start pulling some cards. Important to remember, this is a general reading, so may or may not resonate with every single viewer on the channel. Hopefully it does, but if not, just keep in mind it's a general reading and take what you can from it and leave the rest for another viewer. So anyways, regardless, I hope that you enjoy the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, you guys. That really helps me keep the free readings going. And, um, you know, this is my, my purpose here on Earth. So if you could help me, that's awesome. Okay, I feel like one more shuffle and we'll start pulling the cards for your financial reading. Let's hope for lots of pentacles here. <laughs> oh, tower moment. Guys, some of you could have just recently gone through some sort of financial crisis. When we see the tower, something has shooken up, shooken up, shaken up for you. Okay, we've got the King of Swords here. It looks like a decision has got to be made or will be made. The King of Swords is somebody who's very analytical. The swords are about your thoughts and the way you look at things and affects the decisions that you make. We've got the World card. So whatever else is going on around here, it's like you have this world energy that you will come out on top, even if you have this sort of scary tower moment going on here. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. You guys are leaving something behind. Somebody could have taken a piece of your wealth here. And they didn't really feel too badly about it. Could be related to this tower that's going on here. Let me just go on a pause and change the camera angle. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, welcome back. So while I was doing that, I was guided to continue using the Gilded Tarot deck. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, the card that I'm... I'm being drawn to the most right now to pull a clarifier is the tower moment. So I want to see what's going on with this tower moment for you. What could be possibly happening? And remember, this is your financial general reading. So about money. Hmm. So honestly, you could be going through a difficult time. I think that some of you could have lost a job, lost money. I think some of you could have been like catfished or some somehow screwed out of money. I'm getting the sense that something that was rightfully yours was removed from you, but this had to happen for you, even if it was not the best of times um, when it happened. Everything is going to come out okay because you've got the Ace of Swords, which is the the victory card. So if you're going through a difficult time, just square your shoulders back and keep focused and keep going. Let's see what the King of Swords card wants to tell tell us. So he like if you notice the way that he's looking, I hope you can see it. Like he's looking right at the Ace of Swords card. You know, he's really got his eye on the final outcome. You know, if you look at these cards together. And he is going to make this victory happen by the sure, sheer will of determination to make it so. Amazing card. So we've got the King of Pentacles. So this is what the King of Swords wants you to know. You could be going through some sort of financial difficulty right now. 
However, we have the King of Swords who is very determined, very analytical, and the King of Pen King of Pentacles combined. Their energy is unstoppable. King of Pentacles is somebody that makes their own wealth. They build their own life around them for themselves. Unbelievable. Very nice. Very solid financial forecast for you. I want to see what's going on with the Seven of Swords here because I'm just getting the, the vision that you feel like you have a knife in your back. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. Again, more Pentacles. So it really, this doesn't matter. Like this is ancient history. Even if, even if it's happened for you very recently, just walk away from the situation or the person that puts you in a temporary bad situation wasting your time and looking back on them even though i know it's very difficult like when somebody just like pulls the rug out from underneath you and throws you off balance and creates this tower moment in your life just know that it was meant to happen so it could clear the energy and the road for your future this is your future that we're talking about here um like if you got away with like if you were able to walk away with most of everything that you had and you had to leave a little bit behind, just leave it. Doesn't matter. Because you have this good news related to finance coming in for you. And when we see the night, we know it's going to happen very, very quickly. So it could be a phone call from a bank. It could be a new job. It could be a relative wanting to help you out. But it's going to be coming in quickly. And it's going to exceed your expectations, right? It's going to be more than you dreamed possible. Because you have the world card here. Hmm. Wow. And this is why you're on top of the world. Because this tower moment is planting the seed. Because you've got the seven of pentacles, which is a money tree. You know, you're just planting the seed. And it's going to come out of this moment that is going to really, it's not going to feel good. You know, there's, I'm seeing betrayal in here. It could be some of you working at a company that you've been there for quite some time and your job has been deleted or they've hired somebody younger than you, um, you know, so they could pay them less. It's going to be something really, it's, it's not going to sit well. You're going to lose some sleep, but you're definitely going to come out ahead. King of Pentacles, I'm just going to pull a Starman card here and I'm I'm going to put it right on top of these kings because it's a really powerful energy here so that's the the basic tone i'm getting from this reading right now is that you need to remember how strong you are because you're going to get shaken up if you if this has not happened already if it has happened to you already this is the future that you can look at and leave the past behind you okay i feel like that's good i'm gonna do a deck cut we'll take that card Hmm. So we've got the lovers card here. So the lovers is the, this perfect union, right? It, you're being divinely guided towards something. I'm not seeing this in in relation to being romantic at all. It's just that you're you're going to be drawing this in for you with this king energy here. It's amazing. Very strong. Like there's so much divinity in these cards here for you right now. And I've just been guided to pull one more card over top of the tower and the ace. So you've got the three of swords. Guys, this is the card. I, like, This is what I was just describing. It's like something is going to happen that's going to really, really upset you. The three of swords is about being hurt. Um feeling like somebody stabbed you in the back, feeling like, you know, you've got an ache in your heart and it's because of this tower moment that's going to happen, you know, but it will clear up. I feel like I just need to keep pulling cards here, guys. I'm not done. I feel like there's more to be told. Seven of Cups. I'm just seeing that you're going to have so many more options as the result of something being cut out of your life. I think this is the universe 
It's been trying to make you uncomfortable for quite some period of time, but some of you could really have been missing the signals. So <clears throat> this could be why the tower moment is coming in because you have way more options than you're currently seeing where you are right now. And some of you could beat this tower moment to the punch. You know, you could just see the writing on the wall and and start moving on ahead. You could be feeling really uncomfortable, like I said before, in the place you are, um, and start looking around at how much more the world has to offer you than where you currently, what your position is right now, you know, because you, you have the seven of pentacles. And, you know, if you believe in angel numbers, you've got two sevens here. So look up angel number seven, seven, when the reading is done. But you really have like this really bountiful um, opportunity ahead of you. I'll do one more. Hmm. So I've got the devil card here. So the devil card, it just means that something needs to end in your life. And what needs to end is looking at the past. You can't change the past. You've got this beautiful future coming in here. You've got all these pentacles. I think for some of you, the devil could be your boss. Or you feel like they are. You know what I mean? I'm seeing this more as a person than a circumstance. It could be the person that... I think Seriously, I think some of you got robbed like financially by somebody that you let into your life. It could be the loss of a job, but I'm seeing this for some of you could be a person. Um, and they could be not the nicest person, but it, I think it's for some of you gonna be through that, that all this like majesty will occur. So in this set of circumstances, I wouldn't really let like something, the card like the devil be intimidating at all he's just here this guy is this individual is going to be the facilitator to your greater future so you might have some uncomfortable twists and turns on your road ahead some of you could be in the middle of it right now but keep going because like i said before there is majestic abundance in your future here you have the money tree you have the king of pentacles you just can't go wrong here and let me just show you the pentacles here um, and as I was saying, when I was shuffling the cards, you want to see the pentacles in your reading. So keep focused on the pentacles and everything else will fall away and work out as it should. So guys, I hope this is a great reading for you. Let me know if it resonates. Um, let me know how you're doing. And thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you back next time. Bye guys.